Ardar's Roundup is about linking producers with research. And so as producers, it is very much your day. Of course, the theme today um, is water. And agriculture within that has been and continues to be a key industry. And we understand the strains that have happened over past year. Of course, our government is committed to supporting farmers, ranchers, municipalities, businesses and communities during the upcoming growing season. As you know, four years ago, after working closely with farmers and ranchers across the province, we established results-driven agriculture research, or RDAR as we now call it. Now we created this as an arm's length nonprofit organization to do research for producers by producers. Today it is the largest producer guided funder of agricultural research in Alberta. Hello everyone. I would like to start by saying thank you to Ardar and everybody joining us from industry and the research community. Together you folks are helping farmers and ranchers boost their productivity, competitiveness and sustainability. There's no doubt farmers are on the front line of climate change. Drought can destroy what generations have worked so hard to build. So with another possibly difficult season ahead, your discussions today about water are so timely. I'm a resident of Canmore, um, where I direct the cold water lab on behalf of the University of Saskatchewan. I wanted to talk about some of the research coming out of Global Water Futures uh, relating to the uh, futures of water that we might expect in Alberta. And I'll be focusing on water in rivers, mainly in respect to irrigation and water for dryland farming as well. I think everybody is aware of the fact that uh, this government has uh, an emphasis on preparing and addressing a water management strategy for the province. That is key and foremost. The, the drought response has taken precedence and it needed to take precedence. But at the same time, we're advancing that long-term agenda that the government is really wanting to look at. And again, I'll just emphasize that it's about conservation, it's about storage, it's about um, the reporting and the data and all of the things that are actually going to create, I will say, a, a a more sustainable system and good water use strategy for the future. I work for a rural, a rural municipality. Um, well, I'm from Vermilion River, so we are east of Edmonton. Alberta rural municipalities, there are 69 rural mun municipalities that have agricultural service boards. We have been given a number of different responsibilities by the province. The rationale behind taking a provincial piece of legislation and putting it in the hands of municipalities is then you get a local flavor. So Southern Alberta is, is a really unique area. Like Dave mentioned, we've got a lot going on with irrigation, but there's also a tremendous amount going on with the dry land. And our groups that started in the early 90s were really dry land focused organizations really focused on the adoption of zero tillage and again that's a moisture conservation strategy that is we're world renowned for that and in a semi-arid area it basically means that in a growing season we're losing more water than we're getting so we had to figure out ways to adopt our farming practices to to make sure that we're conserving as much as possible for those not familiar with research at colleges and how it differs from from universities Everything we do at Olds College is applied research. So we don't do discovery research, we don't do basic research. What we're doing has to have an immediate application to producers. 